first, I'm honored to be here to participate in this panel uh, and, and with uh, two good friends. I've known uh, uh, Ron Scanius for many years when he was a Brigadier General, and he's working with uh, Physicians for Peace. It's all, their organization uh, has done a lot of work uh, over, around the world, um, volunteering their services. So it's a From my perspective, um, it's, it's, a, it's a moral imperative particularly for us here in the United States. I mean, to alleviate suffering is something that we in the United States understand. We are quick to respond. We feel like it's a moral responsibility to re reduce hunger. It's a moral responsibility to bring uh, health care to those who don't have it. Have it. Uh, one, uh, Organization One has established itself as a grassroots political force uh, with uh, Bono's uh, hard work to increase the visibility uh, they've done a lot of work around the world. They have um, uh, a staff person who's on the uh, panel with me today, uh, Corinne Charles. So it is so important that African American ministers and uh, community leaders and healthcare workers and women <coughs> get involved in this work because when they speak up, people listen. Uh, rapidly expanding global economy advances in telecommunications and information sharing, the faster modes of transportation uh, make uh, places that were once far away seem a lot closer. The well-being of America is, is now very much connected to other countries. For example, uh, we, need to access, we need access to global markets in order to sell many of our products. We need cooperation with uh, other nations to enhance global security. And we need to use our resources and influence to better the lives of all people uh, the way we do right here in the United States.